nothing matches the excitement and energy of the Olympics. Stepping up in front of 17,000 people, you know, as a swimmer, you know, we don't get that a lot. And the energy and electricity in the building was just making my heart pound. I had no intention of swimming while I was at Oxford. And um, I was approached then by the, the captain, Ian Osmond, and, uh, you know, he actually kind of encouraged me to be a part of the team. And I was like, yeah, no thanks. I was burnt out. I wanted to focus on my studies. You know, the, the people on the team, they were interested in swimming and they were interested on a level that was just like, we want to be here. And it had always been a job for me, and, you know? So I actually found some love back for the sport while I was here. And I think that that kind of like, I carried that momentum into returning to training. Having him in the lane and seeing him, how he trains and watching that was pretty exciting stuff. He was always going to be a huge asset to our team, even if he didn't train at all. And what was really great was he really was a very active member of the team. Um, he was a fun guy to train with. If you want to be good at anything, whether it's academics or in athletics, you have to strike a balance. Um, I've, I've, I've been a better student when I've been an athlete, and I've been a better athlete when I was a student. I really enjoyed coming to the pool at Ipley every day, and. Uh, I think that Oxford did more to open up a side of my personhood than anything in my life. See people that were focusing on being the best that they could be in whatever field they were gifted in, you know, gave me such confidence that I could return to the sport uh, in 2010 and make a, make a run at an Olympic team. I think one of the aspects that we aren't well known for is the fact that this swimming pool and our other facilities are completely open to the members of the local community. We are predominantly here for the students in the university community, but we have a very large number of members of the public who come and take part in swimming, the track, and, and the gym. And we want to make sure that people know that this facility is for people to use from the community. The Olympics has, the, has an uplifting effect. It shows a city greatness. And I don't think you can go back down from that. You know, I, I think that, that once London, London is one of the greatest cities in the world and it has a wonderful sports tradition, but I think once you see the Olympics, you've got to stay at that level. You've got to do better. You've got to continue to grow. And I think that that's what we're going to see here.